All right, so I'm here with Steve from Sonnet Technologies. We're going to talk a little bit about all the work that you guys are doing with Thunderbolt. Great, great, great. Yeah, Sonnet's actually been one of the leading developers of Thunderbolt uh, peripherals for since, since Thunderbolt was announced. Uh, what we have here showing at the show is our Echo Express expansion chassis. Uh, we have PCIe expansion chassis which connect via Thunderbolt. So before any, the only way to put these, uh, the only computer you could put these in was a Mac Pro, right? Uh, right, so this basically allows you to uh, connect these devices to laptops or Mac minis or, you know, iMacs or things like that and give them that PCI expansion. That's correct. Any Thunderbolt enabled computer. That's right. So, actually, a perfect example here of what we're showing is we are actually have a red rocket card in this long chassis and a fiber card in this chassis, all connected via Thunderbolt. And we're able to play the red uh, raw R3D files, 5K red files, through the, through Thunderbolt into a MacBook Pro, and that's what, that's what you see here. So, and so the, basically, the, the fiber card reads the the drives uh, through from our uh, SAN here, and then plays through the red rocket card. So this is what you this is what you see. So this is a, again a 5K image playing at half res, but. Uh, you know, this is unheard of before on a MacBook Pro. Yeah, no, absolutely. And so you guys have not just the PCI uh, E expansion, but you also have Express Card expansion, correct? That is correct. So we have an Express 34 card version of this as well. Uh, so you can take your SATA cards, uh, Gigabit Ethernet. Actually, this will even eventually will read S by S cards. And right. So if you have EX3 footage or Alexa footage or something like that. Exactly. Exactly. So good things coming. Uh, this is. The Express 34 version will be shipping in late November, early December at $149 uh, map price. And uh, the expansion, the PCIe expansion chassis are uh, pricing yet to be determined, but uh, should be shipping end of November, early January. Very cool. So the, by the beginning of next year, Sonnet is really going to have a whole host of Thunderbolt products uh, ready to go. Exactly, correct. We, right now we have one new chassis, obviously two slot chassis. Are you thinking maybe an entire Mac Pro replacement, like four or five slots? You know, that's, that's something that's being discussed, no promises, but something that's been tossed around. And actually here at the show, uh, we've, we've, got that, we've gotten that request quite a bit. So it's actually go like five, six slots? Uh, yeah, I think the most we've had a request for is four, but, but I can... See the need for more, absolutely. So, I mean, you know, speaking a little bit about the Thunderbolt technology, you really think that this, uh, you know, this connection has the bandwidth to really do something like that? Number of slots, some storage, card readers, all of that stuff over that one bus. It really is built for that that kind of utility. It is, and you know, it's a high speed connection. I mean, the PCIe, I guess, uh, channel for this uh, for Thunderbolt is 10 gigabit per second, and. Actually, this is posted on our website too, but you can see the different comparisons for different uh, different connections. Um, so, uh, you know, it's really 1,200 about 1,250 megabytes a second is the, the I guess the ceiling for for Thunderbolt, but plenty of bandwidth for for most peripherals. Absolutely. Well, that's very cool, and it is all one connector. So, uh, from a an on-set standpoint, or someone who's putting together a small mobile production studio, this is really the the right kind of thing to do. Absolutely, absolutely. And we're actually ex even taking this Echo Express idea, the ex the PCIe expansion, incorporating it into some other products. We have actually an existing uh, our Rack Mac Mini allows you to put two Mac Minis in a one U rack. Uh, we actually are, will be adding uh, PCIe expansion through Thunderbolt to that, so you have the uh, the capability to use to add uh, add uh, fiber cards or video capture cards or RAID controllers to Mac Minis and use them. You know, use a Mac Mini as a metadata controller or. Um, or a capacity in a video capture rig or or uh, things like that. So it really is sort of a, a replacement to Apple's now discontinued XServe. You're basically saying use the you know Mac Mini as a brain and then use the Sonnet technology as all of its I.O. That's exactly right. I mean, the, the, the power you get now in a Mac Mini wasn't available in a, in a MacBook Pro a couple years ago, right? So right. the Mac Mini has become more powerful. You can certainly use it in, in certain situations, use it as the, as the brains, like you said. Can you talk a little bit about the daisy chain process? What has to go before? Does anything have to terminate? Is there an issue with like, how you find those daisy chain back to back and then a monitor? 
Uh, we've had three here, Daisy Chain back to back, and without issue. Um, the uh, a monitor, I think most monitors outside of the Apple monitor, anything that would have anything that would have Thunderbolt on it, I think has has been just one port. Uh, Apple now is a two port, one, so there's a pass through there. So I don't think you necessarily have to have a, a monitor at the end of the chain. I'm frankly not familiar too much with with uh, other monitors that are Thunderbolt capable right now. That's correct. That's correct. And how many devices? The Express 34 adapter is a single uh, single port, single uh, port. So that would need to go at the end of the chain. Uh, while while as these other chassis have two ports, two Thunderbolt ports. This one only one's in use here, but. Uh, you see the second port, so you can daisy chain this. You can, this can be in the middle of a chain, and same with the long chassis. And is there any loss in speed by chaining them together like this? Um, you know, if the, if the devices are are all working it simultaneously, I mean, you you're passing through more data than the Thunderbolt can handle. There would be, I guess, a, a bottleneck. Not necessarily a loss of speed at any device, but there may be a bottleneck. Uh, I, we have yet to experience it with here, with what we're doing. But so, so with all of this stuff running at the same time, you're not seeing any drop in performance? We're not. We're not at all. Wow, that's really cool. Thanks very much, Steve. We appreciate uh, your time, and uh, sounds like there's some very exciting stuff coming from Sonnet. We're excited about, about the upcoming year, absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you.